the Flocker is going to end up on the Phoenix once again. And I think the Phoenix is a good choice against this team in particular. Like we've said, uh, Legend does have a doesn't have like an anchor really uh, strong enough to go head to head like uh, guns blazing against Phoenix, right? Just have to kind of get lucky, but I'm sure Legend has some sort of tech in the back for that. Oh, he drops out. Wasn't ready though. Flocker seemed like a reset, but he doesn't need the reset, so that definitely wasn't intentional. Oh, I think it was. He's playing Phoenix. Yeah, he's been going for that oh, same situation quite often. Yeah. That one is a drop, though, but just keep sticking the leg out. <laughs> Zero up to date on modern culture. Hit him with a stanky leg a couple years behind, but you know. And that OTG. And he is going to spend the here. Yeah, I think it's a great call. And on what looked like the last hit. DP here, does that connect? It does not quite. We have the S follow up with the dive kick. Yeah, Flocker was just a little bit too high for that, unfortunately. Zero small body. Not doing the much of any favors. Flocker's going to be able to secure the kill here on the level three. Akuma got glass bones and paper skin, so <laughs> he's not long for this world on that one. <laughs> You know, real estate prices are going up, and I feel like we didn't leave that corner. Iron Man. <laughs> That's very true. It's time to sell. <laughs> move, move yourself somewhere else. Oh, that looking better early in this one. And Missile saves that time. That's huge for Legend. Yeah. It's stuff from the Super as well. Yeah, able to escape in a really crucial way. Still able to lock things down with the Magnum. He's going to spend the meter to try and beat up the aggression from Flocker. Flocker gets the raw tag out to save zero. And is still in a great position here. Proton shots on the way down. Magnum for the whiff punish. Have to be more careful. Oh, mistimed the air to air. And Flocker takes full advantage of that with the throw. And can keep it meterless here, so that's a huge win for Walker. And we tag back, so things are getting tougher here for Legend. Did I say tougher? I meant easier. But Wesker's in and he's fighting. Super trying to get the chip any way he can there. Actually doesn't opt into, maybe wasn't able to DHC, but just swings S on the way down. Again is able to connect. That S has just been magic for him. Oh, absolutely, but have you seen this magic? Someone die and come back alive? Okay. What a command throw. Is he able to pop her on his terms? I was blocked there on the X Factor. It's like you can't even can't even super against this. You just oh, I feel like he's sitting duck in this point. Akuma has a chance here if we can block this thing coming. We do DP, you know the X Factor's coming. Super. Tries to catch him out in some movement. Able to keep away. Goes for the demon flip and gets anti-aired by the trap. Yo. Odd future, future, dude. The homie Rod, dude. He's coming through with the five gifted subs, man. Rod, thank you so much. It's good to see you, but I really hope you're doing well, man. Oh, and the missiles just barely make it to get the OTG there. Flocker working on two to zero, trying to make it three here. He said, let me get this neat and tidy. Save y'all some time. <laughs> Absolutely, but crucial chop there for Flocker. Oh, Legend had it. Okay, second grenade goes up. He actually was able to fire it, so that raw tag was for free. Very smart. Legend. Flocker. Yeah, I was going to say, finally caught on. Was able to anti-air the falling S, dude. Looking very, very strong there. Now, with Wesker gone, even with the chip. Tall task for Chris just to hit the ground. Does get it. 
but misses his snap opportunity. Oh, the gunshot didn't come out in time. He knew he had to rush because the missiles were coming and it pressured him a little too much. Very rough situation there. Especially here, we got a DP coming out, X-Factor. He knew the missiles were coming, put the button out anyways, and Blocker blocked it, and now gets the punish for it. Another knockdown. Level three, once again, Akuma does not have the guts to survive it. And that is three to zero. And B-Man actually on the Wesker this time. So B-Man mixing it up a little bit here. The double OTG assist, the tech. <laughs> Leading off with the command throw, doesn't work out. But I love the early aggression, tagging, uh, rolling forward rather, straight into the crouching light, realizing that he wasn't gonna get meaty. Oh, what a confirm there off the assist for DXP. X factors for everything. He's going to take care of Wesker and Deadpool here. Now it's up to the Dante. The Dante. X factor snaps. Smart stuff by B Man there. Cross up into the airplay, and we're in business here. Yeah, Dante's looking really good. Optimal damage for not being in double trigger. Kept the same side this time. Welcome snap again. Even his decision making's been off point here. Oh, the crystal is very close to teleport. Drive does not cancel it. DXP able to slow it back down. Let's see if DXP can finish here. You do not want this Dante to live. It is extremely dangerous. Has plenty of meter to be able to get it done. It doesn't even need a, another full loop. Can just end in hard knockdown. And that will be game one in favor of DXP. Making him. Just making it take a little extra time. Brave soul. I would have canceled that super on Lunar Face. Foolishness, <laughs> Yeah, me too. I'd have been like, I'm nah, scared. I'm good. This Parsec. I was born scared when it comes to combos. <laughs> I can't finish my normal BNBs, so when we get to those extended ones, nah, 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 nah. But that is able to get both easily X Factor there from DXP. X Factor 3, Deadpool, going to be the only option left. And the extensions. Just trying to get a little bit more meter there. This is looking rough for Deadpool here. Oh, he throws in between the swords. Smart stuff by DXP there. Doesn't even give B-Man an opportunity to X-Factor cancel. That's always the cheapest stuff there. Going back into the swords, getting aggressive. Nice X-Factor into the super jump out, but round trip still able to connect. Oh, falling down light, almost confirmed it. Helmbreaker does. We don't have the meter, though. Great punish, but the assist saves. Oh, the standing H was just a little bit too far away. Almost gets the happy birthday. Still a good situation, though. A lot of meter. It's hard for him to use the meter, though. Absolutely. Deadpool has a little bit of a tough time here being able to spend the meter himself. This is at least two hits here for B-Man to take care of Doom. But right now, there's just so much advantageous situations and hits him off of it. Quick work, but can't quite finish. Yeah, still looking for the 2L, doesn't get there. Here comes the Bolo. So now, two hits has turned into one. It's still gonna take two hits on Strider, but if he can lay some chip down, this is a very workable situation. Where's the teleport? An apple surprise, teleport there to get rid of the other ones, and gets the low off the scrambles, B-Man. Yeah, whiffed the opportunity. Goes for the overhead, finally pulls it out. B-Man with a pixel left. Is that low enough? It is. Happy, B-Man. Makes it work one to one. What a comeback. Dude, after the happy birthday, but there's the projectile counter from B Man. Also, pulling out the tricks here. B Man is on it, man. I can't believe what I just witnessed. Great blocks there. Very impressive on the defense so far. Punish, very nice. Dash up with the medium. And of all the buttons to whip punish that, standing medium. You gotta be pretty close on that one. No mix up there. Quick work connects, that's huge for B-Man. Should have enough to kill Strider here. Being able to convert like that from that distance. What a cheap situation there from B-Man and to kill Strider. Fake the cross up in the jam session. Does connect, but we can't get anything else off of it. Fake the S on the way down. Double teleport, very smart. Looks, sorts the punish. Gets both of them. Got to cancel it early because the swords will take go way faster. Hitting two opponents. But this 
is still, as far as opportunities go, if B-Man gets one block, he's still in this. We know how dangerous the Dante is, but the block will not come. And that's a little too tough there. I mean, at that point, uh, in a, a mix-up against Virgil like that, it's just a pure guess. That's all you can do is just pick a side at this point. X-Factor 2 or better, unless he's using a specific mix-up that you've seen before. And even then, sometimes, the best mix-ups are the ones you never know. Oh, yeah. Hey, what side was that? Shit. The cheat. <laughs> Helmet are blocked. But can be man weather this first set of swords here. That's the huge deal. Bodger connects. Not going anything after that. Chooses not the X-Factor, and for good reason, is able to pick up both, and there is the X-Factor. Oh, I almost thought we were out of range. Very scary situation. Greed's out and doesn't spend the meter. Karapasas hits. I think you give away Deadpool here. Yeah, you kind of have to. All up to the Dante here. Has the meter the kill, that's for sure. Level four, foolishness, Dante, oh, and as he Virgil would say. He goes for the side switch with the rapid slash. Yeah, exactly. Foolishness, Dante. Oh, and the man, what a way to finish there. DXP. Finally getting together here. KJ, both of them playing a little passive at the beginning here. It's interesting to see Milky choosing to be a little more defensive. Get more aggressive there, though, once the missiles are gone. But so far, it's been very smart from Milky, only getting aggressive when he knows his assists are out, when he has the advantage. Otherwise, just sitting on that EM Disruptor. Magneto, another character that does well in zoning against Morgan until she has the Astral Vision set up. Good blocks on DX. KJ Master there. Astral Vision might get punished by Jam Session and does. And Milky's in business here. Kill him with one meter. Huge advantage here to Milky, but there's still a Virgil available. Gotta be careful here, but the mix up is just unbelievable. He did like meaty M's up, down, dash down into low. Kind of threw you off a little bit. Dash under, converts uh, with a low there. Milky is going to the races. Four meters already built up. Should be able to kill with just two here. Almost drops. Scary one. Just Dr. Doom for his lonesome. We have an X Factor there, the throw off of it, and we have an X Factor from Milky as well. And that yeah. should be enough to kill. Dude, the medium to know that was going to be able to fix that combo from that situation. I mean, that's just really what you get from having played the same team for so long, so much experience. It's all about those reps, man. Then the low there from Milky as Morgan's falling. Making great decisions just besides dropping that combo and the snap. Yeah, wakes up with the snap there, but this is able to connect. And KJ comes away with the hit once again. Gonna look for the TAC? Absolutely. Oh, went for the infinite there, but we had a little drop, and Milky is just ready with a button. Just gets a side switch, and then we have another drop. Punishes missiles, everything is dead. Okay, gets a jumping heavy air to air, just stops the Helmbreaker, I'm assuming, from KJ. From that air, from that airspace, I'm not sure what else you'd be looking for. And that's gonna be three meters spent to kill Milky. It's on a tear right now. Not looking stoppable. Definitely worth it on Virgil, man. You got X-Factor for the next open up here and gets the throw and we have an X-Factor. We do not have an X-Factor. What's We have an X-Factor. <laughs> Milky. Very nice stuff there. Utilizing the meter efficiently. The faster you use it, the more damage, damage it does. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Into what could be the final game here for KJ Master. Has just not been able to get Morgan started at all. Yeah, uh, the last few times Astral Vision got stuffed on startup, and then we have Shockwave to clear the screen to waste some of that time as well, too. Astral Vision's already gone, and the falling oh, down shell kick no. with the assist call. That's huge for Milky. 
Yeah, and he goes for the unfly just to make it a little easier. As I say, a little easier. Uh, and then the try jump. This is so bad here for KJ. Only down to Doom. And the foot dive hits. This is so good for KJ. His Doom is incredible. Best reversal in the game. And then we have the drop there. Another tough situation. Made a little harder by the drop. Oh, and the hyper grab from that distance. Nice low plinks to convert that. Milky going for the Twitch clip, and it is not working out. Another clean drop. Wow, what scrambles by Milky, even though he's trying to have stylish combos. Yeah, that right back on it. Three to zero. Favorite of Ledger. Botham's very good at scrambles, so is Lamora. Okay, we will find out early. Both of them are gonna walk forward at the beginning. Afterwards, Botham just kinda gotta take the left side of the screen back off. He's gonna be looking to land the great equalizer here. The dolphin kicks, gotta be the one. And that is one of the strengths of Nova in this matchup. His throw animations take a very long time, so he can almost always time out missiles if he lands the throw. But a clean hit will be enough here for Slotham. Should be able to kill two meters, no problem. There it goes, zero's gone. I definitely think the name of the game is touch here, snap. Because Remora's Virgil is extremely dangerous. Every single Remora's, <laughs> every single Virgil is extremely dangerous. <laughs> Show me that snap. Here we go. Mini dolphin kick. Wanted to see if the super will come out. And then we dash up light. And we have a button out for uh, And see, that's part of the problem there with the mix up from Sloth. And he goes for the delay, which I think the delay is a very good option, but delaying too much, you let Ramora get confident about what he's going to go for. Missile saves off that Helmbreaker attempt. And we have swords activated. Now Slotham has his own. We have an X Factor from him. Rapid Slash connects as well, but unfortunate drop there, and the scrambles pay in Slotham's favor. And that was a great choice of buttons from Slotham to make sure that Doom's dead body laying on the ground didn't interrupt him. So he's going to be able to certainly kill here. Might be able to kill on the next touch, you know. You'll get him next time. Head out of Helmbreaker range. Good spacing by Slotham. Or Remora, sorry. Yeah, this is looking very, very good for Slotham, though. No meter built up, but still a huge advantage. If Ramora gets a hit, he's absolutely back in this, though. Just three hits away, and that is a great start. He oh, might wow. even be just one on each. He's going to build enough meter, but then the drop, that's so fortunate. Yeah, it's just getting tougher and tougher as he goes. Had every opportunity, but now it's got to make it work one more time. Slotham off the teleport, not going to be able to punish. Ramora, that was amazing adjustment there from the Air M's. Now anything will do it. The foot dive, the deepest foot dive you've ever seen. Oh, that's gonna be game one in favor of Slotham. Zero fear just swings it out. That has to be rough when you just make a huge adjustment on that combo and then you just get hit by the foot dive by being underneath on incoming. Uh, and that was such a great just everything about Remora's comeback was so good until he got met with two size 13, size 15, size 19. Doom's feet are immeasurable. Bruh. Those Lavarian boots, bro? High level craftsmanship. Oh, absolutely. Remora taking a second. Reeling back from that one. That was a lot of mental energy expended on that on that attempted comeback. It, was, it looked really good. The Doom was putting in plenty of work. To show you, once you get to this level of Marvel, never count anybody out, regardless of the situation, man. This is going to be a pickup for Remora, though, so huge advantage. We get to see what he can do with a lead here. And that's why we kept quiet. He knew he had to hit that combo there. Smart stuff. Late Lightning connects, too, as well. Remora to the races. I mean, that is one of those things where Slotham really was trying to get aggressive. Remora kind of knew that he's leaning into that aggression. I mean, he found out firsthand in that last interaction last game. So gives him just enough room to let him make a mistake and then instantly goes for that punish. But we did play through the team here. Virgil gets con hit. Can we adjust right there? And we do. And we have an X Factor by Remora. And we're going to keep it simple, possibly level three. Certainly going to be a kill. A great look from Remora here. Level three to finish, and another perfect here. 
Zero keeps laying him down, man. What an answer back from Remora there. So if there's ever a way to come back, it's gotta be the one. Botham lands the Dolphin Kick, keeps it back to the corner, but un unable to finish was a little too far for the button he chose. I definitely like the challenge there by Slotham. You saw the Crouch H when uh, Remora teleported. Medium Lightning connects, but nothing off of it. So far, other than really just that one errant hit, Slotham has done a very good job of evading the missile. It's going to be a hit. Connects, nothing else off of it. And the Javelin was close, but no cigar. So it's going to be another push forward, but he does break the TAC and crosses him up with the Crouching Medium. Javelin cross under. We got the hit there. It's huge for Slotham. Remora's going to lose Doom here. Yeah, a lot of the time, simple is best on these mix-ups. Now Slotham has to spend X-Factor if he gets any touch here. Super got them both. This is huge right here. DT activation. And then he's going to lose Virgil and Nova for that. Remora, one mix-up away. Oh, and he swung the foot dive from Remora. Got him crossed up. Put him in an awkward situation there. Had Doom facing the wrong direction. Doom had no idea. So a second one here for Remora. Slotham kind of in trouble here. And I think at this point, yeah, I think we have to consider a snap here. I told you, that virtual is dangerous when it gets going. Oh, the Rapid actually did hit. Gets the punch with the Dolphin Kick. He didn't believe. Super hits both. Unable to kill either, though. And now, do I even need to say it? You know what this is. The pressure won't even let Slotham make a decision. B Tackle is going to chip with the DP. Beats it out. This Zero is fighting right now. I mean, that's the scariest part of Pixel Zero. They've got nothing to lose at that point, but does get the kill. The only problem with this situation now is it's going to leave Remora again with Virgil, probably. He's just going to bring him on his own accord. Did save Doom. Got the missile calls right there. Going into Super to make quick work of Nova. That's a smart decision by Remora. Oh, the assist got killed there. We have an X Factor Rapid Slash connects. Well, that is kind of the trick behind that. It's almost better for Amora to lose Doom in that situation. He got access to his missiles, got access to his full assist, and got access to level 3 Virgil. Have you ever seen level 3 X Factor Virgil with swords? With the Virgil bags, too? Show Remora. it. 3 to 1, D. Remora. Dominating fashion. Here we go, 99 seconds is crucial. Milky looking. Tatsu to clear, smart assist call at the beginning of the match there. Yeah, I mean, assuming they're called at the same time from a reasonable distance, uh, Tatsu will usually beat that out, and he gets the trade. And when Chris has any kind of grenade out, the trades are absolutely always in his favor. It's so smart by Legend, but tech forward after that beam. Cross back, okay. And just like that, we get to jump in from Milky and we're in business for it. That sounds a very smart decision. And I like the way that Milky chose to do his combo as well. After the meme, meme goes straight in with the launcher. Is gonna go for the snap. He knows the Sakuma is a problem. It's gonna get hit there off the jam session. And that's all that Milky wants here. Yeah, beat out the Tatsu, beat out just about anything that Living Legend really goes for. Until he touches the ground, doesn't really have anything. But this is the situation you were talking about earlier, and you're right, leaving Chris on the tail end of the anchor situation. That is going to be the part it's hard to play. Oh, no, and right afterwards goes for the dash, somehow is able to land behind. Yeah, and we got two button tech sitting here, one of the most damaging in the game, if not the most. Yeah, this is one of, the, one of those situations where, at this point, oh, no, he gets away. But this is going to get hit. It does. Chris is looking. So fine though, even with Chris taking damage, it's a great situation here for Milky. I think for Living Legend, gotta consider what you can do to, to get Wesker out here. I don't know, but I mean, Wesker does match up pretty well. We have two button tech coming from Legend here and X Factor. 
Oh. Cross up and the grenade hits, and we have the follow-up. Legend is in business now. Now it's all up to just Dante with Milky. Team Super again. This time it actually just hits raw. Milky checks backwards into the corner. And that's so hard. I don't know if Milky realized that it dropped there. Maybe it was just trying to block if he got out of it. I think Milky took that hit on purpose. Maybe, cause but the problem was that he didn't tech forward afterwards. Maybe it was just, again, holding back to try and block afterwards. It's tough. It's a situation that's incredibly difficult. Again, it's hard to know what to do in that situation if you've never experienced it. Legend's really the only person putting you in an incoming Wesker Chris mix-up. You're not wrong. Oh, and the grenade saves Chris right there. And another one, Tatsu clears. Mag is bleeding, and then Milky just makes the great evasion over every projectile to get that hit. Okay, killing with one meter here. Milky is going to be able to tag. Yeah, spending the meter to make sure he gets back in a good amount of time for a mix-up. He goes very late on the foot dive. I love the decision. Should be a very easy kill here, but it's gonna opt to snap instead. And Legend comes in with the Tatsu. Not a care in the world. At this point, you gotta make a play here. Akuma is it. Oh, but the snap and the unfortunate drop there from Legend. Yeah, snap not working out, but crouching medium from Milky. Not able to hit. He's gonna try and snipe and assist. There's no assist there to snipe. It's gonna beat out. We have an X Factor there by Legend. Shockwave to clear, DT for the mix. Hotter actually saves him there. Super jump off of that, not able to convert. Wow, what a great stand jab on the dash under by Legend to make sure like he can get the box dash. And he push block to keep Dante in front. What a throw, that's not safe. Good stuff by Living Legend there. Yeah, raw teleports. Well, Dante do get away with them uh, to a degree, not something that you're able to let happen. But the Dante matchup gets so much harder if you can't check him for those raw teleports. And so many stray hits here from Legend. And the raw tag in between, that's out safely. That was very, very smart. The DHC to Akuma actually would have chipped him for sure. And that is a punish there. Legend knows he couldn't throw the Akuma out. He needs to keep that meter. BDM on incoming. Spear flame for the punish. Smart stuff by Milky here. That's a punish on Jam Session, but Akuma is getting punished for that. Yeah, and Akuma will die off of this touch, so Milky is going to get his first one here. One to one going into game three. Oh, jump right into the mag blast. Saw that bait right there, but Milky got the tri dash light. Oh no, that's after that tri jump, man. Legend kind of put on his heels. It's going to be a snap. He probably could have punished that. It was a chicken guard on the S. Yeah, it was a tough situation. Definitely had an opportunity. Reversal Tatsu looking like third strike with the decision there. Demon flip afterwards, back into the corner, not where you want to be with this jam session. And what air-to-air -air buttons from Milky, and the adjustment on the combo as well. Yeah, just a little extra on top there from Milky. Shockwave the kill here, should be only the one you need, and does. Got the cross up on Wesker, and that's one of the strengths of jam session. It will always send you the way that Dante is facing, so re-corners him after the hit. Team Hyper Super to take care of Wesker here. All the damage in the world. Luckily, there's two beer. Going to leave in Doom for the mix-up. Chris swings on the way in in the same situation as before. Jam Session just takes up too much space. Nothing Chris can really do there, even swinging on the way in. Swinging probably his biggest button, just doesn't reach low enough to hit Dante. And it was smart by Milky. He low profiled it with the crouch M into jam session. Got Dante. Look at the bait. He wanted him to go after it. Uh, smart from Legend to recognize the situation. Doesn't go in too deep. And then gets staggered on, though. Maybe a push block attempt from Legend. Almost looked like throw because gun came out. 
Uh, and Legend had the right idea going for the super jump, but couldn't quite get there to actually get the punish. Another super spent. Legend of Wesker coming in. And this is going to be another one of the situations where we really. Uh, Legend has to do something to get Chris out of this anchor position, but Milky not letting it happen. Wesker dies again, and it's all up to Redfield. With side cross under S in the confirm, but Milky in the adjustment, but we can't quite get it. Chris has a chance. Yeah, Magnum does connect. The grenades, the second grenade coming down, easily blocked by Milky. He has to X back for the kill. Smart stuff by Legend to just try to get back in this. Air to air button had it, but didn't do it. Yeah, it's a little tough from that angle. So now, got him locked down. It's going to potentially look for Chip. If he can make him block a flame grenade while standing, you could potentially chip him out here. Oh, absolutely. It's all about when Doom falls here, but we're going to DHC in the devil. Oh. Does get the hit, actually. Missed his opportunity to fully punish. Wakes up again, though. Magnum oh. connects and beats out the hammer. The invincibility did not start up yet. Piece by piece, he is making this happen. There's oh. the throw from Milky, though. We've seen crazier drops. <laughs> I'm holding. Uh, I, I'm not convinced. Not there this time, Proxy. Not this time. Three to zero. Three to one, rather. In favor of Milky. Great showing from Living Legend, though. Chris almost did it. Wonderland. You know my uh, co-commentator turned into a, a zero ball. I've done nothing this week. B-Man is going to be on the dead pool here for this matchup. They've been playing quite a few different teams. I think uh, Wade May Cry is a very good choice for this one. Yeah, you can keep zero at bay with all the zoning, but not like that. Ramora has a button ready for B-Man. OTG, Amora, having already used the missiles, has to go so Genmu here. Deadpool is absolutely gone. It's going to be all about what Virgil does on the incoming. Whatever side that was, uh, B-Man thought it was the same one as me because we both got hit. Amora still just not slowing down for a second. Looking good, all business here for Ramora. Has one more mix up on this Dante. You do not want it to live. And you can see in the play, he does not, but gets, the, gets it right off the X Factor conversion. Yeah, that was very tough. B Man had an opportunity to potentially swing there, but Dante, not very fast normals. It's kind of tough to be able to contest in that situation. So that's going to be the first one for Ramora. Absolutely. Eight frames is rough. Eight, huh? Yeah. Hulk has nine. What is this? Up lightning, not quite able to convert from that height. Still, Ramora is laying on the pressure thick and gets it off of a throw. This is off a of throw. Damn, it's going to kill here off of a throw. So, Ramora is in business here. We're going to get some Sogenu on deck, lightning loop for the kill. Ramora's business right now. You can see it in the play. Very convincing the way he's going. Cross up, Virgil. It's a huge win right here. Back in with the loop. That Virgil is just gone. B-Man again down to the Dante. He did double jump last time. The H lightning was to prevent that this time. Smart stuff by Ramora. He's got his notepad out for sure, but B-Man's able to mix it up. Teleport after the drive. Got them both. Oh. And so smart. A lot of people go for Killer B there. Stinger is, uh, not Stinger, uh, Helmbreaker is perfect to be able to make sure you get both. Auto lock. We got with buttons. Super connects. Oh, the reverse shock just gets punished by Remora. Oh, uh, and I liked the idea so much. The fake auto lock from oh, B-Man. Yeah. I was like, yo, really? Kind of smart. Oh. Another one for Amora here, taking it to game three. B-Man is going to stay on the Deadpool and starts the round with Launcher. 
Oh, and a snap here. Has to take care of the Virgil. Knows it's big damage. Hits the overhead. But we're going to have to TAC or X Factor here or reset. Can't quite get anything off of that. Teleport to the same side. In a, another situation here where Dante's in trouble. Dante's been the moneymaker here. Does this hit? It does. He saves him. Great decision making by B Man right there. That's from the top rope here. We have another super by Remora, and it hits Deadpool. Yeah, he tried to use his teleport to cancel. If he had set himself in a hard knockdown state, he actually would have avoided that super. So it was a good presence of mind. It wasn't quick enough. Stan jabs, but the missile saved there. There's a connection. He tried to extend the combo as long as he could to make sure the missiles weren't going to mess it up, but didn't have quite enough time. Good attempt to try to punish that teleport. Dash under launcher again. Chip is becoming a factor here for Zero. For both characters at the moment, but B-Man just putting a lot of guns on the screen and it's really working for him here. Happy, happy trigger in the air into swords. So it beats out the super. Doesn't get any extra damage on Doom though. And with the team order here, Remora getting that Virgil in next. Next hit, I was going to say, expect an X Factor. And B-Man unfortunately loses after the missiles. So now he teleport right into the swords. That's huge for B-Man. Mora now to just the Doom, dashes away, gets the hit on Dante, but Dante is not, he's not the legal man. That looked like an intentional bait. Like, you take that, I'm going to walk back a little bit. You know the Helmbreaker's coming. Or Mora, you know, doesn't want to give away this one game. <laughs> Two to one. That's all intentional. He's over here like, you know what? I need some more time. Yeah. He's drinking water with one hand while he pauses with the other. Stan H in the Sogenmu activation here. Tries to get underneath. Gets the buster, but nothing quite afterwards. Okay. Go with the tools. Doing a good job with the upwards guns as well. The zoning with Deadpool has been working out a lot better in these games. The first two games, Deadpool did not get to exist. And just like that, off the quick work, gets both of them and teleport into Super. And could it be better than getting to reset your teleport as you get the kill? Chip out right there. B-Man in promising position here. Super, Pineapple Surprise goes right through. We have an X-Factor. Okay, goes Devil Trigger this time for the second OTG. For B Man's tournament life here, two blocks to go. First one has failed. Watch for the double jump here. Everything riding on this last decision. Man's to keep it same side. B Man pops his own X Factor. Million carrots was a thousand IQ move right there. Didn't kill though. Remorse still in this. Oh, you love it. Don't let the fight far enough. He's going to go for Vortex to keep himself safe. Not enough to kill again, and that is actually going to combo from that distance. Game five. Amazing stuff by B-Man in the scrambles that game. Hover random all. At this point, he's going to pick it and then go back to his main team. We all know this. Remora has never switched teams, bro. Never. never not one time. Get out of here with this garbage. You don't play any of these characters anymore. More doesn't play this game. He's like, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like we're going to see the counter pick from B-Man here with Cable. I love that costume. It's a great. It's fantastic. Wonderland. Is he allowed to switch characters after he wins? <laughs> <laughs> A lot riding on this one. Changes the shape of the bracket quite a bit. The teleport gets pushed away by the rapid slash. Oh, punishes it off the teleport. That's oh. huge for Remora here. Yeah, the presence of mind there to get that pick up with the standing heavy. So smart. Oh, what kind of character gives you the first hit of the combo? <laughs> I mean, you know. Only Deadpool, man. He exploded himself just to get OTG by missiles and then combo by zero. B-Man gave him more of the first hit. Give him the assist for that. Oh, great Buster punish on the Rapid Slash there. Smart stuff by Remora, but about to get punished here. And we have an X-Factor to save. Yeah, trading X-Factors here I think is beneficial for B-Man. If he can get an advantage, it doesn't even need to trade his X-Factor. Remora missed the punish. 
Can he make the adjustment? And does there. Gets to the corner. Looking good for Remora here. Yeah, missing that second punish is a huge problem. But B-Man still has a Virgil on deck with at least two meters and X-Factor. Resources are still intact. Go after the Helmbreaker. Missed time. I think he thought the missiles were already going to be gone. So it's an opportunity to fight here. At this point, you're just trying to waste all that X-Factor. For the S. Good defense from Remora here and a great super jump to get out. Buster placement was on point for Remora. Another Silk End move. Those are going to get stuffed. Smart stuff. Oh, and running out of meter, running out of time. Oh, and now it looks like he's going to run out of life. Remora wakes up with the heavy. And that should be it. Yeah, pausing on his own one. Let's go, B-Man. <laughs> oh no, B man! Oh, that's tough, but that's gonna be Remora three to two. B man give uh, Remora a taste of his own medicine here. Had to do it. <laughs> oh man, that was a very very entertaining set from those two. Remora gonna be the one to move on though. <laughs> An acne mallet. I, I want whatever they have in Loki, bro. Just threaten me. <laughs> <laughs> the prune stick or whatever. All right. It's going to be DXP. Getting that first hit. Those are super really late attempting to get the missiles out. Great exchange in the anti-air H from Flocker. Smart stuff knowing Strider was coming. Yeah, was juggling quite a bit. I thought conversion. I have been making fun of Flocker all night for not playing this team, but that looks like a CMC player to me. What a conversion from that distance. That was a very clean one, man. That plays DP into the jam session. Smart stuff by Flocker here. Fakes it, but DXP is able to air dash out, and then jam session confirms here. Man, there's another one pushing through. I think for Flocker here, even though we're a zero team, I think we consider snapping. Absolutely. I think we said it. Legion to come out here. Gets stuffed, but DXP fights to see. Yeah, able to stay away from the missiles. Still looking pretty good here. Heavy Fireball beats out the orb, and DXP off of two little resets is gonna get the kill on zero. That's, that's, one, I was gonna say, that's one of the dangers of snapping DXP. He'll play the team in any order. And then cross up Vodra connects as well too. Full damage here for Strider. Another wall bounce. Is that knockdown? What a string of conversions, but actually doesn't get the mix up afterwards. He does. Bro, DXP is on it with Strider right now. And we have X Factor Orbs coming up. Now you're about to get mixed. That should be it here for the Virgil DXP. I take it back. Don't snap it. <laughs> Just keep it away. Bro, I'm still shook from that little tiger that's what, that, that messed up Dante's super. Dude, if Million Dollars goes off there, that's a way different game. That's a tough one. Like DXP. Formation 8 1. Just cracked him. <laughs> Hey. Punish here with the Buster, looking to get aggressive. Can't quite get there. Has to push Buck away. Blocker still laying down the covering fire for himself, though, with the heavy fireballs. And DXP, even though he had the confirmed, teleports one more time for the fans, you know? JC up, and we got it. So this is not quite a dead zero. Look for the OTG. It looks like a very healthy zero at this point. <laughs> Pretty decent. <laughs> Those loops. Keeping them. TK, low. let's go. Oh, the drop there by Flocker is very yeah. crucial in this moment. Making them a little too tough there. Maybe DXP again off the stinger. A lot of chip coming through. Really, at this point, DXP making a block is more than enough for a victory. Yeah, that's going to be a chip out. Good blocks by Flocker on that incoming there, but just like that, DXP gets the throw, adjusts with the missiles, looking good here. So smart to know he had to go for the super jump. Oh, DG misses the pickup and the snap. Oh, with the crouching low, answers back. Great challenge by Flocker, but can't quite get it. DXP has buttons ready and he's going to get the kill on Dante. Now, all down to just the Virgil here. Teleports to the same side, he connects with both, but can't finish. 
still with the standing heavy though, max distance. He's got a great opportunity here. Four meters still available. That was a really good evasive air dash by DXP on the incoming, but can't help it from the S swords here. Ooh, that was sneaky on the dash. Good lines by DXP, the light ramp connects, and then Formation A1 teleport, oh. we're in there. Yeah, Formation A actually covered, that covered everything but neutral tech. I think if he neutral tech, he has time to jump, but any tech roll, DXP gets to maul him off of that. That was incredible timing. The, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you have to eat that when the timing is like right on Oki. DXP, uh, Flocker, maybe Phoenix, maybe, maybe Hawkeye. Maybe Hawkeye. Maybe Hawkeye. Uh, with, gotta think about the switch here for sure. That's looking like Hawkeye. Okay, so he's gonna pick his stuff. That's one of the things is when you're comfortable with playing with a horizontal assist, ZMC is a culture shock of a switch, for sure. So he's gonna be Flocker having his little beam assist, uh, uh, definitely more in his comfort zone. Punishes the raw attack. Smart stuff by Flocker there. But at this point, doesn't I don't know. Killing Doctor Doom is not the one you want to get first though, especially with the team of double anchors. Okay. But, you know, I guess it doesn't matter if you get them all in one touch on him. Yeah, and I mean, honestly, with the weaker assist load out here from Flocker, still the comfortability factor comes through. I mean, like that. The layers. Knowing, knowing how to set up the unblockable from that situation is so strong there for from Flocker. Even though he doesn't have the jam session, he's still looking better. That's another conversion there. The confidence to swing that fireball. Beyond incoming, we have an X-Factor there. He jumps to try and chicken guard, but DXP has a button ready. Blocker gonna lose zero. Orbs activated here. Okay, DXP. Gimlet, we're gonna have an X-Factor here to prevent the bomb damage, and then the teleport was smart, but couldn't quite get it. Dash up medium though, Flocker. Flocker makes that look like the best button in the game. He literally uses it as like a Street Fighter with punish. Like he's so good at that button placement. Oh yeah, that standing medium is just an absolute menace. Flocker, the best in the business at using it for sure. Well, tried to punish the assist there, but unfortunately Flocker's getting punished for it. And he had a drop. Hey, try to swing to the, to the medium on the way, and it doesn't work out. Gotta avoid the missiles here. Looks like he took that hit on purpose to just avoid Virgil. Oh, good buster placement there. And again, blocker has been hit, and all his buster confirms. Still looking to dash up, steal as much space as he can. That was clean movement from DXP, but nothing really to follow. Spends his X Factor and is going to lose his Doom for it. No, the Rapid Slash able to get back to the other side. So now it's becoming a factor. That actually connects. Can he convert this? Not quite. No, oh, if he had the beam, he would have been able to. That would have worked out perfectly. Ooh, little footsies there, both whiffing. Oh, he punished the Hellbreaker. Smart stuff by Flocker here. Keeps it simple. Level one super. Strider coming in with no X factor. This is Flocker's game if he can finish. Okay, this is big. Flocker having the X factor should be able. Any touch will do it. DC box dash H. You know it's coming in a throw following up, and we're going to get an X factor once he hits the ground. Yeah, easy stuff there from Flocker. Taking it back to a game five. Who knew you'd do better when you pick your stuff? What a concept. I mean, Blocker. you've been playing it for 10 years. So I mean, that's comfortable. what you're comfortable playing. Dude, the, the Hawkeye has just been so, so strong for him. Oh, unfortunately, DXP loses that meter at the start of the match. That is huge loss right there. Yeah, crucial situation. And he's going to spend the X Factor, though. DXP's team, I think, thrives in this situation, so a good call. But the TAC break with the X Factor wasting there, that's very unfortunate. Let's see what Blocker can do with this. 
Park tags in, gets away with it. Cross oh. under DXP gets it. Still got under. Another great situation. Can you finish here with the swords? That's a big deal here. You can take care of this Virgil. That may not be enough, and we have enough to kill. Yeah, he has the meter, so it's going to be very close. Yes, it is. Okay. So still with no X Factor here for DXP. Really, just the momentum completely in his favor, but Flocker with that signature anchor is going to bring it in now, actually. Right there, Gimli on punish. He tried to go for that confirm. Yeah, missed the punish on Doom on the raw attack as well, but still has a great situation. Now he got zero back in the fight here, so if he can take care of Doom, it's looking very good for Flocker. But it's not looking like a chip's adding up, and it does. Okay, and the mix up here is going to be tough. Pass the X Factor just to get a look. Floating arrow connecting. It's a tough matchup here for Doom, and the aggression turns up for Flocker. It's one of those things you forget, man. Hawkeye can get that rush down in when he's got that meter. Cross under confirmed. Flocker, all he has is Strider left. He can do this with two meters. Anything will do it. Any touch from either player, really. The DXP, if he gets that momentum rolling, should be able, even if he doesn't kill, can get the resets. This should kill here from Flocker, level three. Gonna show us some Pim Tech. Look at Flocker coming back with the Hawkeye. Three should games in a row. be enough. <laughs> Boot does so much damage, Flocker. Three to two in this game five. That's, you see, that's why everybody likes Flocker. Bone Wonderland. Are we already getting ready? Yeah, looks like it. it is going to be Milky. Remora here, Remora coming fresh off the loss, and oh, that's not a great way to start here. Going to lose that zero. Saw kind of the passive play of Remora backing off at the start of the match, and just the counter call play right there by Milky just paid huge. Ooh, nothing afterwards. Off the M connects. Okay, but I almost gets there. For the butter gun. Not quite close enough to connect. What an air throw there by Remora, and we have an X Factor to take care of Mag here. Yeah, it's such a strong situation. Ooh, and that actually is able to convert. He falls into the swords. Just the Dante left. Helmbreaker, teleport, same side. X Factor by Milky with a button. Smart stuff. All right, and down to the final mix up here. It's going to be Dante. Oh, mistimed his mix up there, so didn't get to the opposite side like he wanted to. This is still very rough for Doom, and Milky takes it here. Yeah, having X Factor and already being in Devil Trigger, not a lot to really be able to do there. Live and let die. Fight. Oh, look, just like that, Remora has a button and gets the side switch here. Looking much better here. Get that OTG. And again, a great follow up. We're going to go still again, move. Milky falling a bit behind here. Cross up, looking there. Remora is in business. So here, again, assuming completion of the loop, Milky's going to be down to just the Dante once again. Might be able to clutch it out this time, though. Never say never, man. I might say never. I'm considering <laughs> it. <laughs> Shout out to the home K Brad in here too. K Brad's K Brad's been making moves lately in the Marvel world, so can't wait for that. That's what we like to see. Uh, Ramora tying it up though, he's making some moves too. Live and let die. Fight! Okay, look for the disruptor just to potentially punish her more for trying to overextend there to get the, uh, the happy birthday. Oh, gets under jam session, gets the throw. Oh, 
Milky's looking to punish those assist calls. The smart stuff with the EMs. He even punishes the again too. Does a great job stopping him from like that. Oh, and then rapid slash push to the corner. Easy pickup off of that. Going with the launcher. So now mix up time. You able to dash out of the first layer. Continue blocking low. Good stuff by Milky to be able to recognize that. Yeah, that was just a good call from Milky to be able to hold down back there. Great flame late. Maybe looking for Chip at this point. He gets away with the hard tag. That's a good decision making by Ramora there. Okay, delayed on the try jump and then just waits, trying to bait something out there from Ramora. We have an X Factor throw break in the super here. Yeah, after another huge tech opportunity. Ramora trying to be the aggressor. But Sham Session just stifled all of the pressure he was putting out. Gotta watch that Jam Session call. Goes right into it. Zero's on life support here. And yeah. it's done. And losing the arrow, losing zero that makes it even harder because now he has to take incoming. And wasn't able to punish off to the foot dive. The jam Session held him in place for just a little too long. Oh, the flights were very, very close. It looked like Milky was going up for the throw, but instead he comes away again. Always being able to confirm any hit off of these jam sessions from anywhere. Yeah, Ramar has been patient about this jam session call for a long time. He just couldn't hold it together there. And what a throw. Was that a guard break as well? Yeah, potentially. I mean, it's one of those situations where I think as Ramora, when you see him dash there and you realize it's not meaty timing and there's no jam session, it's hard to not want to go straight into that Helmbreaker. That's a very nice bait for Milky. All right, Ramora just going to take a break, kind of figure out what's going on with the match, maybe make some adjustments here. I mean, this is something that we commonly see from Ramora when it does, when the opponent does get to two games, it's very common for him to take a minute, kind of go back to character select. He's just taking some deep breaths. Gather himself. Yeah. Yeah. Breathing in some air. The freshest air. The freshest of air. Or he can just be not one delay losing or something. You know? Like that's what I do. He's checking his notes. Yeah. He's got he's got the laptop. I have played against somebody that took notes, man. That stuff is scary. They just start writing stuff down oh behind God. you, and uh, you don't really know what they're saying. What'd you say about me? <laughs> so let's see if the adjustments that Ramora has dialed up will be able to help you. That's a good up back out of the pressure, knowing he wasn't going to be locked down that whole time. So to block the mag blast. Oh, dashes right into the throw. Can Milky make it? And gets the reset off the Crouch H as well. And we got a snap here. Here comes Virgil. I mean, I think that's one of the most impressive things about Milky there. He, oh no, he lost his Magneto off of a misspaced normal is what he did. No, but he still he wakes not. up with it. Shockwave because the missiles are coming down. X-Factor gets the confirm and now Virgil is gone. Cross up jam session call with the falling down H. Milky's gonna take care of this Doctor Doom here. TAC up, okay, we can really rock the infinite, save some meter for the next character. Yeah, we might have to do it here. Should be able to kill. It just depends on really just comes down to this mix up here. He has X Factor to be able to get a look. And level three X Factor Zero does represent a lot of chip and a lot of uh, high pressure situations. Definitely a, a take the throw anchor. Oh, yeah. Zero almost had both characters there. I mean, level three Zero with Sogenmu is kind of scary. Let's be real here, so. Oh, it does convert, but it was going a little bit too fast. Still is able to make it happen. Too much power to control there sometimes. Zero is schmoovin'. Unblockable and Remora. It's even harder to deal with there when he's in that X Factor like that. Able to make it work. Level three kills. And that is game five.
It's so wild that he can call Sogen, who set up his own unblockables. Yeah, I mean, it's even more potent in level 3 X-Factor because the, the clone follows a set amount of time behind him. So when Zero moves faster, the clone is essentially more delayed, right? Absolutely, but just like that, Milky's answering back, taking care of this bot with the Tri-Dash Light. He is going to kill here. Only one meter required. Opens with the empty low. After another great situation. This is going to be a snap. Virgil all by his lonesome gets try jumped on. Milky with the jump cancel. So smart. Three meters already built up. Ramora might just be the end for him here. It's all up to Dr. Doom. This is a rough match right here. He needs three, four hits at least. Yeah, and Shockwave makes it near impossible there, especially with the X-Factor afterwards. That's a lot of X-Factor time for Amora already gone, just off that one interaction. Oh, hit jam session, but that looks like a bait by Milky and answers with the dash up stand jabs. He knows. He knows. Snap whips with that. <laughs> it's the end. Milky, three to two. Able to topple Remora there. My man goes down with the bags. Here we go. Come out on top. Ready? Fight! Maybe a lot on DXP to avoid the missiles here. And he does. And now he's trying to open it up. Milky doing a great job being evasive. Missiles trade from both of them. DXP gets priority on the swing, and we're just back to neutral. High pace so far. The scrambles are going to be wild in this match. You can already feel it just from the first 20 seconds of it. Oh, but the oh, just managed to get underneath somehow there. Killing with one meter here. Great situation for Milky. Mix-up is important. It's mostly about what happens when Strider comes in eventually. Just like that, the punish off the EM Disruptor in the jam session. Now do you snap here? You do, because this Strider is dangerous. Cross up. This is just uh, about as bad as it gets here for DXP. Getting stuck with a team of two and a half anchors and getting stuck with your half anchor. It is a possible feat. It can happen, but oh, not like that with my those try dash God, lights, the man. ROM. It's Milky straight up Marvel 2 on that one with the ROM with the lights. Let's go, dude. Had to pause, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely yeah. had to. That was, a, that was a legally mandated pause. He said, there's too, mo too much momentum, man. Hold on. Get swords up, manages to hit both DXP. Finish this up. And that's the scariest part about playing against this guy, man. He plays this fast at all times. And it doesn't really matter what you play. Any touch can just open up like this. Thunder gets out of the missiles. Teleport. Strider almost saves there. Activation on swords. Can't press anything. Gets punished for it. No looking for it. As he can, push blocks him back into the missile swing. So smart. <laughs> TXP does a beautiful use of the missiles. Just great awareness and all. Just knowing they were going to land back there and the push block was perfectly timed. DT activation. Oh, what a hitbox. Swords 2. So much going on here. Missile should clean it up and it does. Yeah, I would say once Milky goes into those jumping situations with uh, Virgil already in swords, missiles coming, that's just a matter of time. Yeah, it's absolutely rough, especially when you use Vortex and you have miss or swords already activated, you can get punished at the tail end of those. Right. So the reset here, missiles. Strider connects off of that. Good on the double teleport. Oh, and man, just to get the throw, the little crouch beforehand, too. And then the try jump to reset it. Milky is ruthless on that mix up. Oh. 
He didn't even need that reset. And that's He what needed you, that reset. Oh no, DXP is gonna get the, have Virgil live. Gotta get Virgil out of here if you can. DT activation. Super jumps out of projectiles, gets the hard attack situation, but Milky punishes it beautifully. Yeah, that was a very tough punish there. And he has, he has the team super to be able to get the kill as well. Dangerous shell, especially when Milky's piloting. EDM on incoming there. Foot dive connects with the jam session, following after it. Yeah, I was able to bait the push block there, it looked like. So on the landing, kind of rips it. Cross up, orbs come out. X Factor, we get the hit. It has enough to take care of Doom, just has to keep things pretty tight. It does not. Yeah, Milky does have one X Factor. That's going to punish, actually. And the orbs, too. He was trying to get Vortex, it looked like, and there it comes out. Great block by DXP. Oh, yeah, and he went for the launcher himself. Got to stay out of the way of the missiles, though. He went for the Buddha Palm. He got anti-air crouching low. Okay, and now with the formations, life lead firmly in DXP's favor. Just has to be careful. Can't blow your lead here. Bird Bomb, he couldn't save was going to save. It was going to save. Oh, man, the Bird Bomb actually interrupting all of Dante's combos, moving him so far forward. The DT activation, the dash down low gets the job done here. But can he have enough without scaling? Should. Volcano Beehive, absolutely enough. Milky getting the advantage. Confirms off the super jump height with the Strider, but can't quite finish it with swords. Oh, had both there, but was scared of the missiles connecting with him. The double teleport, rapid slash late. X Factors, we can't quite get the confirm there. We got swords activated. Tries to shockwave, and DXP gets out of the way. Emperor Dante, a well timed sub. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. Not much for the homie, man. Thank you very much. That's it. Oh, I thought we were going to get next, and there it is. Side switch as well. Keeps it simple, super for the kill. It's all up to Dante with three meters. It's going to take Dante quite a few touches to do this. Oh, cross up with the Vajra. So gross. Pushes him right back in. Gets the extension. We're going to go into swords here as well, too. Maybe TAC? No, it's just going to optimize it out. Manages to build up a third meter. Still hasn't even started his loops. He's not going to. Look at that. Just for style, box dash, age, and the high time super. DXP tying it up. We're going to a game five. I respect that. I respect that too, bro. Very we'll good talk. stuff. Going into game five now. DXP, the momentum suddenly very back in his favor. Putting two together, two in a row together, rather, against Milky is a very tall task. Huge tech for both players. Missile's trading out here. Okay, shows not the X Factor there. Gets a reset. Gotta be careful for the missiles. Not gonna combo. It was a smart situation. He's putting him in chip, knowing the missiles are gonna come. He kept him in an advantage situation there. Hey, text back into the corner for Milky. That's actually a great decision. Team Super. Oh, Strider stuffed both of them. Oh, and two meters getting burnt there is a nightmare. And the throw makes it even worse. DXP going to get the raw tag. Certainly going to kill. Oh, looks like too much hits on scaling right there to finish the combo. Rap slash drop. And then the X Factor hard tag. Jam session. Oh, not quite there. Unable to convert from that distance. Jam session again answering, but no conversion. He's dashing backwards, but he can cancel. If Padra cleans out right there, the scrambles in this match are incredible. That's going to be a punish on Dante. Buddha Palm, but doesn't convert. Both of them just swinging. Rapid Slash clears. We do have time for orbs. Legion comes out instead because of the teleport. Grapple gets stuffed. Slide into Rapid Slash. From what that is going on? He actually couldn't convert it, and a Legion again is able to kill. 
DXP wow. after a hell of a scramble. <laughs> Grand Finals, man, the reset. Oh, just play uh, the DXP trying to look for the reset. Oh, speaking of resets, good <laughs> Another one there, but Flocker has the defense to hold up. Okay, he's gonna go Swords, so he's gonna double teleport, Flocker. Wisely using that movement to stay away. Oh, Vajra does not connect. Possibly could have got the kill on zero there. Lightning just for uh, Flockers, so we're looking good here. Can take care of Virgil with the three meters he has on deck. Okay, that is absolutely going to be kill on Virgil. As Flocker, do you consider snapping? Cross up lightning for Flocker there. I think at this point you could possibly do it, but I think he's going to kill through. Hey, all up to the Strider. And look for the double jump. That's why we did the H1. We got an X Factor there. DXP gets punished by the arrows. And even if he blocks the arrows, though, if his, if his push block timing isn't perfect, that falls into an unblockable. So difficult. Blocker. Put him in the absolute meat grinder for that first one. Go for broke. Fight! And Lightning gets across the screen, comes with the assist. Oh, Falling down M? Wow. I think he went for the M because he knew he was going to need a faster button to convert. That was very, very smart. We have a drop there in chip range. Punishes the hard tag. Smart stuff, but can't quite finish it and gets punished by Vodka. Enough to kill. Oh, actually, another crucial drop. This is a good DHC out, though. DXB bringing back on the heat with the Virgil. Yeah, the factor. Yeah, I was going to say, I actually think he got hit there trying to go for the tech. Great adjustment on the missiles there. We have an X Factor. Yeah, the X Factor is certainly a good call. Give me the Virgil down. Call up to the Hawkeye. Has X Factor if he wants it. X Factor through right there. He wanted it. X Factor timing was pretty decent here, but having no space to really breathe. He's gonna make waste of that X Factor time right now. That's the smart stuff by DXP. Side hits, punish on Doom. Gimlet gets the kill. On Doom Virgil, is bleeding actually. as well. Yeah, the kill on Virgil, <laughs> the one that went down. So now just Strider, no X Factor, dies in one hit. Dad, there's no way that comboed. Still at an advantage here is Flocker. That was an. He went for Graham? Heavy Graham against Flocker? Doesn't have enough to kill here. Oh, punish on the teleport. Flocker chip, whatever damage you can get down. Tries to dash underneath for the extra punish with the food of Palm from DXP. He drops it! He still gets him on the teleport. My heart. I know. I got We're doing deep breathing. breathing exercises right now. Good lord. So one to one. DXP looks very strong in that one. Dashboard Stinger in the teleport, or uh, Swords here. Yeah, threatens a throw and being able to put that hitbox out. Again, same situation. Had the conversion. It's better that he dropped it. Ends up with Hawkeye. DP, yep. Stuff super. Smart stuff by Flocker. Saving Hawkeye here. The dimensional Slash puts it in front just to block the projectile. Got Strider there. DXP's defense is holding up very well right now. Hey, and after the Hellbreaker, Blocker losing that zero. And that was incredibly difficult to discern what was happening. What a mix up there after having zero die so high in the air. 
No smart. Jump up, uh, meaty MM. Teleport there. It actually drops, but still gets the reset. And another crucial drop in a row. Great X Factor canceled there by the XP, but it's unfortunate. It's punished by the missiles. Oh, and he overcommitted trying to punish the Strider again. Oh, Flocker gonna potentially lose everything for that one. Luckily, X Factor's still intact there. Gimlet's gonna get the punish here. At this point, you gotta try and get rid of Doom as fast as you can. That Strider health is coming back quickly. And then, what a confirm by Flocker. Yeah, and the missile's not there to interrupt. He has to go for the reset there. Gimlet, we press anything? No, the chip. One more that's gonna hit the assist. Strider still oh. is fine. All he has to do is, oh, I was gonna say, all he really needed to do is get enough meter for Legion. And that was just it. DXP making a strong case to reset this bracket now. Yeah, just one away. Only needs a single game. Flocker got to play perfect two in a row. So set back up, picks up one. Zero's able to live though. Dude, that HS HS builds him so much time. That was enough. That string builds up enough time just to get a whole other like, doom call. DXP is looking poised for a reset here. Blocker still on his feet fighting, but on the ropes for sure. Great evasion of the Strider assist, though. Blocker's looking just to get away from it, not even get touched by it. Punishes the hard tag, almost gets a full conversion. He can save his game while he does pressure Blocker. Tags into the Virgil. Once again, is looking to get as much space built up as he can. DXP is so comfortable with his back on the wall here, though. DT activation. <laughs> Even with the foot that I've already seen, Flocker went for the challenge. I mean, if a, if S comes out there, he gets he wins the lottery and gets both. So it was a good call to at least go for the challenge. Can't fault him for that. It still has zero intact. There's still a chance here for him, but DXP has been on the offensive here and then punishing that hard tag as well. Okay, and Hawkeye actually able to get away now. The stare down as well, and Virgil wins out there for DXP. That's the smartest thing you can do when you know you have missiles coming is just down back. No reason to risk your whole team on one interaction. So again, your activation navigates around Strider. Has to lock him down for some kind of chip, for some kind of damage. Good assessment from DXP to know that Doom is the weakest link here. Kind of okay to give him away. Right now, you're just trying to force an X-Factor. You're trying to chip out as much as you can and force it on your terms. Yeah, huge shout to the homie Wiener Slam coming through, by the way. Seven months. We love this. Yo, the king of Slam and Wiener. Still looking for as much chip as he can. DXP playing it safe and solid. X-Factor's pops from Flocker. There's the hit he needs. And we got the wrong super. He got the wrong super. DXP capitalizes, and we are resetting. That was great awareness by DXP to X Factor that and knows that Super has slow startup and the punish to zero there. So on the reset, you think Blocker goes Phoenix? No, I think that would be a bad idea. He's going to stay with this team. Yeah. I mean, DXP definitely has the team that counters Phoenix. The fight is off. See, going into set two here. Guys are helping out for sure. Good push blocks. DXP's defense is holding up. Strider's bleeding, but so that's a good situation. So again, new activation here. Gets hit by Strider. Rapid Slash to try to get the mix up. Nothing off of it, but we have a throw by DXP here. Oh, this opportunity went for the Helmbreaker. Finally gets the cross up. And these swords again. How much pressure can you put out here? Missiles is going to earn him enough for a second one, but he actually whiffs on the standing medium. 
a little too far away. The XP still in strong position though, doing a great job here with a relentless offense. Soccer's just not giving in all the way. But now the XP is out of meter. Got a hard tag here. Yep. Flocker was waiting for it, and we snap Virgil right back in to chip out here. Yeah, absolutely the right call, and a great call for Flocker to know that the raw tag has been the go-to for DXP in those situations. Yeah, that's definitely the mark of a veteran there. He just kind of stepped back and waited for it. About to lose zero here. Chip is adding up, gets away with his own hard tag here. Virgil's in. Teleport, try to go up for the air grab, it looked like. Dexby still fighting it out very, very well. One of the best players of this Doom Strider shell. Parker not having a great time with Virgil here, since he only really has Hawkeye assist to play this. Obviously not the most durable assist out there. Oh, punishes Strider. This is huge for Flocker. DXP's trying to save it with the Spear Flame. Yeah, the S on the way down. Attempt doesn't get there. Sword should be able to punch if he doesn't extract her, but he's going to give Doom away, bending it all on the Strider. Yeah, the X-Factor does get the conversion on Virgil. That's huge. Probably the best thing on the team to fight Strider here. Not his backdash, too, as well. Now it's Hawkeye with X-Factor. Maybe a game with an incoming. We have it. X-Factor here. Looked for the net. Couldn't quite get there. Standing medium. Oh, my God. They're jumping everywhere. We can't get a confirm, and we do. And DXP is going to take the first game. That's a very strong stuff there from DXP. Or after the match is over, just, you know. Walker, honestly, sitting on that meter when he still had Virgil, that was the mistake. He should have gone into Swords right away, slowed down DXP's momentum, take away some of that X-Factor time, so that way his other characters, even if he loses Virgil, has a chance to play. Completely agreed. I think Virgil was absolutely the best chance he had there to be able to deal go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Strider. Hey, Rapid Clash connecting a little too far away. DXP wakes up Neutral Tech standing heavy. What, dude, the confidence to get that hit. GG for a kill. How did he get to the other side? What swift movement by DXP here? Yeah, that's a very clean teleport, we'll call it, <laughs> from DXP. Look for the double teleport to the same side, and a raw tag from Flocker gets away with it. Gimlet, you DT right through it, but Flocker knew he had the swords ready. The round trip, that should get hit by Strider, and he X-Factors, great recognition from DXP. And the X-Factor back by Flocker here, can take care of Virgil, but drops the combo and a hard attack follows afterwards. Yes, yeah, looking for whatever he can. Trying to just put some chip down, slow things down. So, you know, we've said it before, scrambling is not where you want to be against DXP. That's a great shot there. Meaty on incoming. That's huge for Flocker. Takes care of Virgil. Now it's just to the Strider. No X Factors left for each player. Oh, actually missed the opportunity because of the double exploding arrow. They get aggressive, gets the air throw. Here comes with two meters. Maybe not enough to kill. It's going to be close. He could go into the, the scatter shot with no ops out there and gets thrown by DXP. Has enough for a level three here. Oh, but misses, unfortunately. And he might be able to get a Gimlet out. Yes, he is. Another hit. Oh, actually, in with the Vajra. Still a tough situation. One meter to go. Doesn't fully convert. Oh, crossed him up, had to confirm. Where's the Gimlet? Stand M gets punished by Vajra. Ah, uh, it's a very close decision. I think that is a great button, but it's a little early. Uh, Blocker, the exact right read, just a split second away. And that's going to be an X factor for DXP. He's going to try and close this 3 0 right here, right now. Trying to look, lean in with the triple teleports as DXP. Like a resets with the super scatter shot, punishes. Blocker's actually in good position here. He still has his X Factor intact. DXP about halfway done with Virgil here. Blocker just needs one hit. He'll actually be in the lead because he doesn't want to see Doom come out of his 
absolutely true, but finding that hit is so tough. DXP has been so confident in going to the same side. Finally paying off here. Gonna be able to kill with one meter down to just the anchor Virgil here for Flocker. If DXP gets the hit, expect a TAC. Oh, got them both smart. X Factor by Flocker there. The Doom. Flocker's got a great advantage here. This should be his game to win. There we go. Spending the other meter for Swords. Definitely the smart and safe thing to do. Swords already gone, though. He's got to be careful. Foot dive could be coming any minute. That's doing a great job. Timed out all the X Factor time and has a meter advantage. This is so big for the XP. Still the zoning. The XP has to be careful of the super just based off of Flocker having one meter for swords. Stinger DT trying to push him back now. HS almost able to break all the missiles, so now Chip is a factor here for Dr. Doom. Super again. Just gonna be able to get Chip afterwards. Locker just trying to be a little too aggressive here. He just needs to bait out this other meter from DXP, and he'll be in a good position. There it is, but he links a beam afterwards. The life total is very even. Chip is a factor now. Flocker, anything block will do it. Oh my god, the air throw by Flocker. Just barely finishes the match. All that, all that impatience from Flocker almost cost him the entire tournament here. He needs to be a little bit more careful. He's definitely losing his pool over here. Yeah. Speed. Still one game away. He's gonna go for swords to try and protect his assist, and he does. So what's the move here for Zero? What is our mix-up? Tries to keep it same side. Locker does not fall for it. Ooh, almost got him with the fuzziest stuff, but that's gonna be a raw tag and Doom, the easiest time converting off of that Vajra. No meter required potentially here for DXP. Drop right there, that might cost him. So again, new teleport, nope, we go in the DT, saves zero here. Yeah, I didn't want to block the, uh, the Vajra, potential chip out. Inch his way across the screen here. Blocker looking a lot more himself on the patience, but that is actually gonna punish. Counter gets punished. No, potentially a mistake there from Flocker. DXP capitalizing in just the worst way. Uh, I think DXP should have spent the X Factor here to take that early lead. Kevin Flocker one too many chances. DXP yeah, doing a great job spacing his buttons out though perfectly. Trying to set up this frame trap. These are incredible staggers coming out from him. Gonna go for the round trip once again. Vajra connects, he fakes the cross up. Once again, down to Flocker's Virgil. And he had to hold that just because of the missiles and then gets the low and takes care of Virgil here. Okay, didn't quite build up another meter before he went to double trigger, so not gonna be able to build another. Flocker betting a lot on this DT. Box dash M into foot dive. This is possibly game point here. Yeah, just just about anything will do it. He has the meter spear flame with the assist. It's not enough. He's looking for the throw, but there's not much you can do here. Yeah, the super to chip out DXP three to one.